Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to remake or review of a SVD-63 or Dragunov Sniper Rifle. Uh, but before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Let's read a little bit information about this uh, model here, Dragunov Sniper Rifle. So Dragunov Sniper Rifle was designed by the designer of Evgeny Dragunov. It, I think it's a famous name, I think. Okay. And uh, it was manufactured today today by Kalashnikov Concern and Norinko. It was produce, produced from 1963 until today. So it's still in production, still in active service also from 1963 uh, to today. And uh, it was designed by, uh, it was designed from 1958, 1958 to 1963. So it was designed for five years uh, by, by the designer in a company that you work for. And this, uh, Marksman sniper rifle here. Fire seven six two by fifty four millimeter rim. Okay, so it like a uh, uh, Russian standard seven six two. Okay, so let's begin. So as you can see here, like this is like. This part here shares similarity with the AK, I think. It uh, maybe from outside a bit similar, but a little bit long, longer version with the AK, like similarity of like the cosmetic, I think, the color. But the inside is different. So let's begin. Okay, let's slow. 50, thank you. Now let's reload the magazine. So when you reload, you press this magazine match here using your thumb. Okay, and then you pull it forward into this direction to remove the magazine. The 10 round magazine. Okay. And then you put in the new magazine. This part here go first, and then you press it into this direction, so the magazine latch can capture the magazine and hold it in position like that. That's reloading, and yeah, reloading. Now let's see the fire mechanism. Since there's no option for uh, semi full, this is this a mar marksman, so it's going to be single fire only. Let me review here. So I pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, as you can see here, maybe maybe from this angle first. Okay, from this angle. As you can see when you pull when you pull the trigger here, the rod here, you're gonna push the steer backward okay so it rotate and when that happened it will release the hammer because before the sear is holding the hammer here at this angle at this point here point of like contact here and then when you pull the trigger basically the rod will pull the sear to rotate into this direction so the hammer can be released the hammer release it's hitting the firing pin that's fine it is in a, a gas mechanism here gas piston mechanism here okay there's no gas animation for this model here so let's imagine the gas travel through the barrel into this uh, vent uh, into this <coughs> pipe here that direct the uh, gas into the, the gas piston and then the pusher 
going to push the bolt support here backward like it didn't come back and just push back the bolt support bolt support back and then force the bolt to rotate to unlock from the from the frame train of the SPD pull it back like that and the next round is in and then for rejection As you can see, it's it's probably like AK, so the ejector will, will be using the frame. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's see it from here. How the round was being kicked out from this angle. Okay, as you can see, the, the receiver frame here is the one that kicked out the empty casing here like that it's being kicked out okay so let's uh, move back to the fire mechanism here not that please okay this one why well, i'm misclicking everything here okay right here so now the gas is pushing back the gas piston and then the Push it here, pushing the bolt support back. The bolt support pushing down the hammer, as you can see here. Pushing down the hammer, the hammer go down, and then the hammer will push down on the road here. So push down on the road there, so it allows the sear to return into into this position, so it can capture the sear of a pair like this okay just like that okay and then as you can see there's a auto safety here that will hold the camera in place okay that hold the hammer in place when the chamber is open And then it will uh, disconnect from the hammer when the chamber is closed. Like that. Okay, I'm sorry. The hammer push down on the road. The sear returns the position, ready to hold the hammer. And also the other sear safety will, will hold the hammer into that position. Uh, into this position, not that position, into this position. Now the, the auto safety is off when the wall support push it down. <coughs> like that. Okay. So it's like, this, the full mechanism is like this. You pull the trigger, hammer is released. You pull the trigger, the route is... Uh, pulling on the sear for it to rotate, allowing the hammer to be released, hammer hitting the parent pin, the gas push back the bolt support, the bolt support pressing down on the hammer, hammer push down on the rod here, allowing the sear to be ready to engage the hammer here, and also to allow the other safety here to move into position to hold the hammer while the chamber is open. And to release the hammer when, when chamber is closed. Okay. Like that. So as you can see. That's the whole mechanism of firing. When you pull the trigger until you until you release the trigger, that's what's happened inside the fire mechanism here. So it's very, very different compared to AK47 fire mechanism. And then let's see the safety. I think the, the safety handle here is what make it look similar to AK because probably the the culture in Russia is this handle safety here because they fight in the cold sometimes. So like a big handle like this will be easier to manipulate compared to like like little pin 
with your yeah, what maybe maybe that's that's my opinion but i think this is like the the cultural like the purpose uh, not the purpose but that's why the russian prefer this design here but now i think they they try to move on from this type of design and then to be more mb design that's what i see from their uh uh the the new rifle that having a counterbalance system that they're gonna introduce for future Russian military. Okay, so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna Google the name first. If I if I'm not mistaken, it was A four five four or five four five. Okay, yep, it was. I'm gonna Google it. It's A five four five. Okay. Like the the new I think the new Russian. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, the new. Oh no no no! It's not the new. It was competing against AK twelve. Okay, so yeah, I think in this in this design, it doesn't have that classical. Safety handle like this you see in the in your screen right now, but more common like safety lever that everybody familiar with. Okay, so let's continue. So when you turn off the safety, turn on the safety. Well, turn off, turn on. When you turn off the safety, let's see first. Okay, so when the safety is on, the sear is the one that prevented uh, that was being prevented by the safety here from moving at all because because when safety on off, the sear can go up and down. So you can see there. Maybe let's see from this angle, so we can easily understand it. Okay. So right, like right here, this is the seal reloading. Okay, so this is safety off. Now safety on. So you see, there's spaces here. When safety off, there's space for the seal to move. Safety on, there is no spaces for the seal to move. So it will not release the hammer. And also, okay. Also, the auto safety only engage when the when the bolt is closed. When the bolt is open, then the auto safety will hold the hammer. So you rely on this part here not to fail. Okay. So I guess that's it. There is not much of a accessories or a mechanism that really, really different maybe or more innovative or something like that. So maybe we can review the cheek plate. Okay, this is just, you just using belt and then put it here. Okay, now buy on it. Okay, it's like that. Okay, there's nothing like you cannot even remove this. Can I remove this? Yeah, you cannot. So I guess that's it. Maybe let's try unloading. Okay, that's reloading. So yeah, SVD or Dragonos sniper rifle. SVD sixty three or Dragonos sniper rifle. Fire 762 by 54 millimeter rim. Okay. 
So yeah, I think I think that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, become a member if you're interested. If not, then hey, it's your opinion. Maybe your decision, not opinion, your decision with your money. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you maybe not very soon, but a few days from now with a new video. Bye-bye.